How y'all doing? We're still feeling good. We're still loud enough. Uh -huh. <sighs> it's it's tiring on here. I'll tell you that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide down just a little bit if that's okay with you all. Yeah? Alright, um, before we start this song, do, uh, does anybody here watch Home and Away at all? Alright, so uh, do you know a little woman called uh, Miss Rihanna Fish? Well, uh, this very nice song I wrote for her, so if you know the words, sing along the song.
was a bit cute. Who threw uh, male knickers on stage? I'll tell you what, Ben. I'll, I'll leave them on your mic for you, mate. That one can go. That one's yours, though. All right. My sexy little Christchurchians. How would you, like, right, like to meet two of the most sexiest gentlemen in the world? Have we got any mums in the crowd? You, you lot are quite a bit quieter than your kids. Have we got any mothers in the house? All right, well, uh, you, might, you might like these two. Let me, let me introduce you to bachelor number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Jenkins. And uh, bachelor number two, Mr. Marcus Cantara, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now, um, let's ask the mums. Mums, would you rather Dave or Marcus? I think I'll lose this one. I all right, got, all right. I, got I, reckon, I reckon you got mums. I reckon you got mums. Kids, Marcus or Dave? Yeah. Dave's not here, man. I heard, I heard. <laughs> Anyway, but look, look, this is a problem you see. Dave, Dave has a girlfriend. I know. And you know what the worst part is? She's really nice, so none of us can hate her. But, uh, but the thing is, Mr. Marcus Catanzaro does not. So uh, if anybody's looking, uh, I'm sure Marcus would love to, uh, to meet up. He would. Is that the look for? Let's get on with the song, Jacob. Let's do it. What we've been doing, right, is we've been going around New Zealand and we're trying to find the uh, the loudest New Zealand crowd. All right. <laughs> 